Thank you very much, uh, David. Uh, I really applaud this, uh, this uh, project uh, for, uh, by Canadians, mostly, very few Arab Canadians involved in that. And that shows that this is an issue uh, which affects all Canadians. Uh, this is a courageous uh, move. I would have loved to, to be on that boat, but uh, if I did that, I would forfeit my right in the future to, to visit uh, family in, with, within Israel, because it seems that the Israeli policy is those who, who, are, who attempt to enter Gaza will sign documents after they are arrested and mistreated and ensure that they can no longer in the future uh, enter the country. This is, as was said, you know, this is a political move, basically, and a humanitarian move in the sense that the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 13, says every individual has the right to leave and to leave his country and to return his country. And in the case of the people of Gaza, they cannot leave their country, and if they leave it, they have problems getting back. Uh, I am a Palestinian refugee myself. I left my country, my hometown, Nazareth, which is inside Israel in 48, and I'm not allowed to return and live there permanently. I lost those rights. So uh, I thank all, all those organizers who worked on this project. I know it, it required lots of hard work to find the money, to, to do the organization, to plan the, the boat and I wish them success and I hope our government will try to stand up for Canadians this time. They didn't do it in July of 2006 when a Canadian peacekeeper in the south of Lebanon was killed. Uh, the Harper uh, government's uh, reaction was he shouldn't have placed himself in that position. Mm -hmm. so, so I hope this time they will stand by the side of the Canadians who are courageously trying to break the siege of Gaza and uh, warn Israel that any attack on that ship is really an attack on all Canadians. Thank you very much.